Yo, what's up? It's the Easter Chungus. I'm just peeking that new Wolf Aside merch collection. We got something for everyone, bruh. We got stuff for the Earl Sweatshirts fans who are scared of the hoes. We got stuff for the anime fans who want to go Super Saiyan. You already know. We even got stuff for the people who want the hoes, man. Want them grinding on your ass. Like, oh, fuck it off me, babe. Not right now. Man, we got stuff for everyone, bruh. And what happens to the people who don't buy the merch in the description below. But look at uh, Jojo Siwa right here. Buy the merch. All the shit I used to do, it keeps killing me. Slipping through. There's two things in life that scare me. My fans and angry boomers. I mean, <laughs> really? I decided to take a deep dive into some boomer content because I assume a majority of us need a good laugh right now. I meant, um, take take a dive. We haven't taken the venture yet. We're gonna be looking into two things, Michael Levin and Simply Boomer Comics. You know, boomers aren't the most <laughs> openly minded. You know, kiddo. Back in my day, we used to play games in the stream, not on it. Kids today just don't know what real fun is. <laughs> Man. So, Michael Levin wrote a book or a essay statement against the term, okay, boomer. I'm a boomer. Later generations look at us as a bunch of smug, self-satisfied types who rode rising stock and real estate markets to financial paradise, and then yanked up the ladder so that younger people drowning in college debt were totally shut off of the American dream. Boomers, repaying the compliment, tend to view those who followed us as self-absorbed, handcrafted mocha latte-sipping, technology-obsessed, phone-staring, ridiculously tattooed, backwards ba baseball cap-wearing, Layabouts whose greatest desire to spend the rest of their lives smoking medical marijuana in their parents' basements. My question here is, why did you, you, you describe yourself as smug and self-satisfied who robbed us of the American dream and said that we are self-absorbed, handcrafted, mo mocha latte sipping, technology obsessed, Bone staring, ridiculously tattooed, backwards baseball cap wearing layabouts whose greatest desire to spend the rest of their lives smoking medical marijuana in their parents' basements. Talk about bias, right? He says, Some young whippersnapper had the clever idea to turn the OK Google command into the snide hashtag OK Boomer as if to say to folks like me, sit down and shut up, old man, your time has passed. Well, your time has passed. I'm like 100% sure it's not based off of OK Google, but I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not very, I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm the number one person to ask on that behalf. I think those are broken websites. No matter how many times you click the picture, nothing happens. I guarantee you there's not one single person in the entire world who looked at a book, a comic book, and said, mm. Broken websites. I don't think so. Instead of powering it up, you just turn the cover to get started. And instead of clicking on next page, all you do is turn it. Pretty cool, huh? I know how to read a book, man. And that condescending attitude is precisely why I dislike coming here and probably related to the downward visitation need in libraries after all. Where the fuck would I be without my slat? We tolerate their naivety. We... Is that how you said? Hold on. I believe that's... Naivete. Naivete. I... Are you sure? Naivete. Okay, I'm gonna say naivety. We tolerate their naivety because we're the young ones too. But we can't even get enough, but we can't even get through to them because their earbuds are cemented to their ears as they're spending every waking moment staring, narcissist like, at their social media feeds. I'll have you know, Michael Levin, that my usage on my phone in the past week has been only an average of three hours a day, and that's really impressive because I'm awake for at least 19 out of 24 hours of the day, so. Well, dear, maybe your father wouldn't have to dress up like a slut on his days off and sell his body for sex if he didn't have to pay for your precious little smart phone. 
Okay, first off, I'm gonna say something right now. If his dad's really trying to cross dress and do that and do that stripper shit, he's gonna have to shave his chest hair to make it work just a little bit better. I'm mad as hell at younger generations. If you're a part of this group, I want to tell you why you've screwed up a perfectly great world and just what you need to do next. You spend your days staring into screens. By contrast, we make eye contact and therefore have empathy and real connection with other human beings. You have hooking up. We have relationships. We have both. And you can't tell me y'all weren't hooking up with bitches. You swipe right. We swipe. You swipe right, we live right. I don't swipe for neither. Live right? You gonna die soon, homie. You have Apple Watches, where all you do is look at your timelines. Does it look like an Apple Watch? I don't think so. We have neighborhood watches, where we watch out for each other. I don't know one neighborhood that I've lived in in my entire life where y'all motherfuckers had neighborhood watches, please. You live to get likes, we live for love. Actually, I would love to get some genuine love from somebody right now. You have influencers, we have thinkers. You have politicians, we had statesmen. We make commitments, you rent your furniture. I still live with my parents. I bought a lot of stuff in this room though. You, we have tolerance. You have cancel culture. That's just Twitter. On college campuses, we had open discourse and free speech. Today, you have a McCarthyism of the left and trigger words. Because any idea you don't agree with sends you screaming for crayons and teddy bears. See, what I would love to do is read through this Boomer article and argue with it, but... I think the thing that really set me off is we win awards for accomplishments and you expect participation ribbons just for showing up. Uh, what, I, what I don't understand is I'm like 100% sure participation ribbons existed back then whenever this dude was, whenever Michael Levin was, uh, um, you know, a child or whatever. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people from my generation who have won awards for their accomplishments. But the, but the real thing that set me off here was Michael Levin saying, you have Facebook friends and we have real friends. Um, I haven't had Facebook since I was 10 fucking years old. I had the classic Coca-Cola banner with the, with the, I had a little fucking icon of me with like sunglasses and shit repping. That was, that was, uh. Yeah, no, I, I don't know a single person my age, or at least in my friend group, who uses Facebook. But I know I have a lot of old people who do, and implying we don't have real friends is a joke. Yo, um, this, uh, this, this one old dude said, I don't have real friends. You're my real friend, right? Yeah. Get out and vote. What streaming service do I pull up? Who in God's name of Jesus even have said, has, do have said that? When it comes to personal finance, we balance our checkbooks. You don't even know how much you spend at Starbucks. Hint. A lot. Shit, I think I've spent like $20 at Starbucks. You have make jobs. We have careers. I am 16 years old. Two years from now, I will have a fully fledged out, paved down career. I put that on everything. Culture, same thing. We have classic music from the 1960s and 1970s. The Beach Boys, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Motown Legends, Billy Joel, Aerosmith, ZZ Top, and many more. You have Billie Eilish and other whiny ballad balladeers who can only write songs about how much how some dope you met in the club won't return your text. Now this man is pretending like 95% of the songs back in the 70s and 80s were not about broken hearts, but they were. I'm sorry to tell this dude, but um, love is a infrastructure and an ideology that has been a thing for a long time, and it was not created recently, and there's a lot of great musicians who are reshaping the entire generation. Kanye West, Tyler the Creator, 
uh, Casey Musgraves. There's, you know, there's other people. There's like like Team Impala. There's psychedelics like Travis Scott. We have a lot of shit. There's more than Billie Eilish. There's way more than Billie Eilish. There's so much more than Billie Eilish. And I like Billie Eilish. Like, I mean, if, if like, the only thing you can look at from music today and say, ah, oh, you have Billie Eilish and whiny melodies who can only write songs about how some dope you met in the club won't return your dicks. Really? Day 14 of the quarantine. My wife took up gardening, but won't tell me what she's going to plant. Now, one thing I learned about boomers is um, a lot of them hate each other. I don't know if there's one straight boomer relationship where they don't hate each other. It's really depressing, actually. Pro tip, as you young folks like to say, the next time you see gray hair, think of it as a sign meaning information center. We boomers didn't get where we are by hanging around coffee shops and staring at Insta chat and Snap face. I'm gonna take that as a fat dose of irony and a fat dose of I'm moving on. I, I went back and read through this a little bit and thought about the main comment saying, you live to get likes, we live for love, you swipe right, we live right. And then the third one was, I think I was, we have tolerance and you have cancel culture. Now I wanna comment on the we have tolerance thing. I'm like 95.99% sure that back in this dude's day, racism was a normality. Homophobia was a complete normality. Uh, also was being at least halfway sexist was probably also the norm. I don't really see tolerance as existing back then, but apparently to this dude it is. But that's not important. That's not important at all. I went to look a little bit and realized just how much, how much boomers like hated their wives. Like, after two weeks, and like, and the husbands, after two weeks of quarantine, Gertrude decided to knit him a scarf, and it was, it was, uh, it was a noose. My husband's cooking, so I'm going out to catch coronavirus. Apparently, you lose all sense of taste and smell. I'm sure you broke his heart after saying that. Tired of looking at your wife's miserable face? You need, you need happy bag. Fits 99% of all known wives, easy to install in bag acts as a silencer. Now the wife in said photo, I hope she turned to a life of being a lesbian and found true love because obviously, your Pinocchio looking ass, grew head ass, 50 years in the future looking ass, obviously was not fit out for her with your pointy nose looking ass. I bet he's dead now, probably dead now. Bah! Who needs television? I just, I just watch your tube on my computer. <laughs> the fucking I love rap heavy metal <laughs> I th <laughs> I thank my lucky stars we live in a quiet place where our kids aren't influenced by gangs and the violence of the big city and as dude fucking with the gat shooting a bunch of people I don't I, I don't I don't understand the mentality where you I mean, I haven't seen one pleasing to look at boomer art style in my time. Uh, a, lot, a lot of it will have to do with Wi-Fi or like kids playing a violent video game and that is where kind of all things endure. I mean, all I really play is CSGO and GTA and I ain't shoot nobody. I haven't shoot a single person. So, I mean, I'm chilling actually. Boomers, are, uh, these, I don't like using the term boomer. I know a lot of really cool old people. I know a lot of really cool old people, but it's like these people in specific, these types of people. What the hell, man? What the hell? I don't wanna fucking be here. Cause all I do is nothing. Make some music and lay in bed and disappoint my friends. I don't feel like I should be here. Cause fuck, I'm never noticed. Up and that's pretty cool, but I still feel I'm fucking lonely. I feel like I'm just a